So some really good news came out for Dogecoin from Robinhood today. I think it'll be a game changer for Doge in the long run. Before we talk about it, let's take a look at how the crypto market did today. So the market fell even more, and as you can see, Bitcoin is now trading at around 36k, which is the lowest it's been in months. Now this might be alarming for a lot of Doge and crypto investors. But there's some news that came out from Robinhood that'll prove to be really bullish for Doge. So Doge Whale Alert recently discovered that Robinhood's two known wallets use eight known addresses and have a total combined amount of $5 billion worth of Doge on behalf of its investors. That's basically one-third of its circulating supply. And that's why I've been saying for weeks that Robinhood's success and failure are going to have a huge impact on Doge. And so we have to talk about this news for Robinhood. It has added Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and Grayscale Ethereum Trust to its list of assets available for trading on its platform. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is still one of the most popular publicly traded Bitcoin funds. Since its inception as the Bitcoin Investment Trust in 2013, it has grown to manage over $25 billion in total assets and has attracted over 100 institutional investors. And this is important because we'll see more institutional investors come into Robinhood's ecosystem. And when they do, they're bound to explore Doge 2 since Robinhood very often tries to promote Doge and its utilities. Talking about Doge utilities, Doge creator said that he believes the easiest and best use case for Dogecoin remains using Dogecoin for tipping. The Dogecoin co-founder stated this as he sent out a Dogecoin tip using my Doge tip. So have you tried Doge tipping yet? How did it work for you? Let me know in the comment section below. Another big news for Dogecoin adoption was that over 455 million WordPress websites can now accept Dogecoin using a WooCommerce plugin. The free plugin is now available for download on the official WordPress directory. And this is a big deal because e-commerce is the new way to do business now. A lot of brick-and-mortar stores are moving online, and so Doge is going to benefit a lot from this. And another fascinating piece of data came for Doge. A Cointext report revealed that Dogecoin investors in America have outnumbered those of Bitcoin, with the USA containing the highest number of Doge investors worldwide. Also, Ethereum investors have outnumbered Bitcoin investors in 26% of countries worldwide, including the USA. Now let's talk a little bit about the broader crypto market before coming back to Dogecoin. As you might have noticed, Bitcoin is getting pummeled together with US stocks. Tech stocks have erased hundreds of billions of dollars, with the Nasdaq Composite Index heading for its worst day since June 2020 after plunging 5%. The shares of tech giants such as Amazon have shed as much as 7%. Uh, basically, cryptos and stocks have been struggling to regain ground since the start of the year due to the U.S. Federal Reserve's hawkishness. The Fed raised the benchmark interest rate by 50 basis points for the first time since 2000. The central bank is determined to reduce inflation, which recently hit its highest level in four decades. So liquidations on crypto tracked futures exceeded 400 million in the past 24 hours as Bitcoin dropped to as low as 35,700. Bitcoin futures racked up 191 million in losses alone suggesting most trading activity and open interest were limited to the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Either futures followed with 64 million in losses and Dogecoin futures lost $4.56 million. After the crash, many analysts jumped on board to make their predictions. Peter Schiff predicted that the mass selling of crypto and pointing to the collapse of stocks related to blockchain. Schiff believes that now that Bitcoin and the crypto market in general are plummeting, along with the stocks of companies working in the blockchain sphere, the whole crypto industry will be exposed as a male investment. He also said that many of the crypto-related companies will go bankrupt as the entire industry is exposed as male investment. Mass layoffs will result in mass selling of crypto as unemployed workers raise cash to pay soaring household bills. And according to Benjamin Cowan, Bitcoin is likely to experience fairly choppy months ahead as the Federal Reserve intensifies its inflation-fighting efforts, including raising interest rates. He also said that Bitcoin would have to go above two key resistance levels in order for the flagship cryptocurrency to convincingly move out of its current trading range. Basically, the levels that we'd like to get back above are 41,400 and 42,500. Until then, we're just doing the same thing we've done for the last several months. 
Also, according to Cowan, Bitcoin has stayed longer in the zone. It is currently ranging in the period of the downtrend from the all-time high of November of 2021 to the low reached in January this year. Then Justin Bennett also said that Bitcoin and Ethereum should expect lower lows before their next legs up. He forecasts that Bitcoin will drop to 35,000 before bouncing back up. Basically, Bitcoin is also holding below 39,500, which served as support since April 11th before closing below the level on Tuesday. So he thinks that buyers have to be careful until 39,500 is reclaimed on a daily closing basis. And about ETH he observed that ETH continues to move lower within a descending channel from the April high. The objective of that structure puts the upcoming low at around 2,500. If it does, $2,500 also lines up with the March lows in the bottom of an ascending channel from January. If Ethereum bounces there and breaks free from the descending channel, it's likely that ETH could touch 4K in the coming months. Now another reason behind that sell-off was probably short-term holders, and that is according to the on-chain data. As pointed out by an analyst in a crypto quant post, short-term holders seem to have sold the heaviest during the recent sell-off. The relevant indicator here is the exchange inflow, which measures the total amount of coins moving into exchange wallets. As you can see in this graph, the one-day to six-month coin age group sent a large amount of coins just yesterday. The inflow spike amounted to more than 60k coins being transferred by this group. Investors usually send their Bitcoin to exchanges for selling purposes, and hence these coins took part in the sell-off that has now taken the price below 36k. The 6-month to 18-month group, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have moved too many coins over the past day. The older Bitcoin LTH groups have also not shown much activity recently. The below chart shows the trend in their inflows. From these trends, it seems like the only investors that took part in the selling yesterday were the short-term holders, who are generally the more fickle ones. The long-term holders still look to be holding strong. Another seemingly bad news came out about crypto mining. It says here that Bitcoin's switch to proof-of-stake seems unlikely. Some people say that it's going to be really bad for Bitcoin because of its energy consumption, but I think they might be wrong. Recently, Bitcoin Mining Council talked about said that it's misleading to refer to proof-of-stake as a more efficient form of proof-of-work since it does not achieve the same thing. Also, the mining companies for some time have been exploring the use of renewable energy and the latest reports suggest that 58% of the BTC network's energy comes from renewable sources. And another bad news came from Argentina. So its central bank has banned operations that allow bank clients to purchase crypto just two days after Banco Galicia, Argentina's largest private bank and digital bank Brubank announced they would allow their customers to purchase crypto. Banks in the country will no longer be allowed to offer digital currencies that are unregulated. An official government statement outlined Argentina's stance, saying that financial entities may not carry out or facilitate their clients to carry out operations with digital assets, including crypto assets and those whose yields are determined based on the variations that they register that are not regulated by national authority and authorized by the bank. But then there was some really good news that came from the United States. So the US SEC has approved yet another proposal for a futures Bitcoin ETF. According to the official document, Valkyrie's XBTO Bitcoin Futures Fund is the latest such product to have secured approval from the SEC. Talking about adoption, more than 10 million Cash App accounts had purchased Bitcoin since the program was launched as of the end of the quarter. Cash App made $46 million in gross earnings from Bitcoin sales in the fourth quarter of 2021, bringing in $1.96 billion in revenue. When broken down annually, the firm's Bitcoin sales in 2021 were just over $10 billion, totaling $218 million in gross profit. Now let's talk about something totally bizarre which will prove to be bullish for Doge. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, is investing $500 million as part of Elon Musk's deal to take Twitter private. And that sum is simply a blank check. The CEO of Binance also said that, We, from our friends, heard that Musk was looking for third-party investors and we were interested. We immediately said that we are. He didn't have a plan for Twitter. So it wasn't that type of discussion. Now this has a lot of implications. This just shows that even the big business owners have blind faith in Elon's actions and decisions. And so if, from now, 
Elon posts about Dogecoin, we wouldn't be wrong to assume that his posts will attract the attention of big players in the market who will eventually invest in Doge. Coming back to Doge, it's currently trading at around 13 cents. Basically, we didn't see a lot of price action today because the retail investors are scared and leaving the market, and the whales are controlling the market. In any case, I believe we could see a rally for Doge in the coming weeks because of how Elon will accept Doge for Twitter payments. When do you think it'll happen? Let me know in the comments section below.